What's up guys, MPK all the way here. Today I'm going to show you how I clean my air stones. So you can see that this is a air stone that I cleaned. Looks nice and fresh, nothing uh, bad about it. It's completely clean. You can also see the tube is pretty clear again, pretty nice. So on this side we have a used air stone. Let me put that there so it doesn't fall. On this side I have a used air stone. You can see that it's all gunked up. Uh, the line is not clean, it's, it's, it's looking bad. So basically it's very simple to do that. There's a couple of steps that you can do. My method is I use hydrogen peroxide, so H2O2. Um, you can see that this is some hydrogen peroxide. There we go. It, this is the 3% one. Um, this is food grade, you can see. I always take food grade. You have hydrogen peroxide, 3%, 10%, 12%, 25%, 35%, it goes up to up to 50 I think, but 35 is the maximum you can get as a, as a consumer. Um, I have the 3%, that's not ideally, because you'll have to use more, plus you can also not use the hydrogen peroxide, the 3% in your system, in your RDWC or DWC system. The reason for that is 3% of H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide has a lot of extra additives or chemicals to get that 3% or to get it stabilized around there. So if you can get around 12% or maybe up to 29%, so the more the better because that's more pure hydrogen peroxide. Always keep in mind guys that when you, um, that when you use uh, hydrogen peroxide, use gloves so i have some gloves over here so it's always safer because this can burn your hands the three percent it won't of course because the three percent is not high uh the the amount of hydrogen peroxide is not that high but i'm going to show you anyway so always wear protective gloves so we're going to try to go from that uh from that sorry to that so this is the clean one this is the bad one I'm gonna put that one to the side. What I have over here is some just some plain, um, how you say that, some RO water. Um, you can also use tap water, it's pretty fine. It, it's fine, or some bottled water or distilled water. It doesn't matter what kind of water, we just need some water. I'm going to try to take this off of my stone, which probably is not possible, or there we go. So you can see that it's pretty gunked up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that straight into the water, like that. And then the tube, I'm also going to take in the water, just going to curl it up like that. Trying to fully submerge it, if possible. There we go, there we go. So that's completely in now, there we go. And then I'm going to take some hydrogen peroxide. This is approximately one liter of water so my dosage is, if it's a 3%, I always take like 10 milliliters to add to this one liter. So if you have, there we go, you have a better view now. So if you have 12% or 35%, the higher the concentration, the less you need to put in. So I'm using 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. No, uh, what am I saying? I'm using, uh, always half so if it's one liter I use 50 milliliters but that's three percent so if you have for example say 10 percent then you would use around let's see if it's one liter you can use around so that's the way three times higher four times higher so you use around 15 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide it doesn't really matter how much that you use guys keep that in mind because it does the job anyway it only will take a little bit longer so this is my hydrogen peroxide I put like around 20 milliliters in there I'm just gonna put that in the water there we go that's it and what you will see almost straight away is you will see it start to bubble in there you can see that there's going to start coming bubbles off of the stone I hope you can see that on the camera but you can see that there's bubbles coming off of the stone. 
that's oxi that's oxidizer uh, h2o is an oxidizer so it puts a lot of oxygen in the water and it cleans organic stuff if you have normal tap water i would add a little bit more of hydrogen peroxide because in normal tap water there's already some contaminants in ro water there's none so if you have ro water it will straightly go to the contaminants in the air stone and in the tubing if you have some tap water that has already 200 or 150 ppm present in the water it will first um, dilute those or uh, get those cleaned and then it, it's going to attack the ball so keep that in mind um, you can never overdo the amount of hydrogen peroxide of course i'm not going to pull it in i'm not going to put this stone straight into uh, hydrogen peroxide i'm going to put it in water always diluted so you can leave this overnight if you let this sit overnight be very very clear that when you try to use the stone rinse it off always let it run so attach it again to your uh, to your air pump and put it in some clean water tap water is fine doesn't matter just some clean water without the h2o2 and again let it sit overnight put the pump on and let it bubble and if possible take in, uh, take another day and let it also bubble in that one so that you have two cycles of clean water with this air stone with the air stone attached to the pump so it, it, it makes oxygen so two runs of 24 hours you're a hundred percent sure then that everything every hydrogen peroxide that was left in the in the ball or in the tubing or whatever it's out so in total you will need three days to get this done correctly but if you don't want to use hydrogen peroxide there's also another method but in my opinion it works a little bit less you can boil these stones just put them on a on a stove or on whatever put them in some normal water tap water is perfectly fine and boil them for at least let's say one to two hours boil them that way you're also de-infecting everything but what I've noticed is that I don't get off the, the junk that's on there. It's dead, it, it's completely sterilized, but I usually don't get that, that, that bad looking color off of the ball. This way, they look like brand new after the three days. So one day in the solution, two days bubbling in normal water. That way you'll have air stones that you can use forever. This works as, as I said, also for the tubing. So that if your tubing has some uh, some brown coloration or some algae in it, put them in there, let them soak, do the same thing, done. Works perfectly every single time. H2O2 is very inexpensive, so you can go a long way with a small bottle. So it's cheaper than buying new air stones and new lines every single time. So that's my way of how I clean my air stones, guys. If there's any questions let me know in the comments below but I think this is pretty uh, pretty straightforward what you can do just get water H2O2 doesn't matter what quality 3% 12% 5 25% whatever the more percentage you have in the bottle the less you have to use so that's it guys see you in the next video bye bye